I decided that I'm going to start to film when I take pregnancy tests. <laughs> it's honestly so weird to say. Um, just so I can document everything and then if it so happens to turn positive then I have it on record but yeah I've been procrastinating all day I feel nervous but I'm just gonna do it now but yes we just wait nope that is a definite no it's been 73 days since my last period which is like two and a half months which doesn't actually mean anything because I have really irregular periods which is part of the reason that right now I'm doing more tests as well. I just don't know what's going on with my body which I'm trying to work on but it's hard because things just aren't running regularly. This is definitely negative. It's now officially been over three months since I got my last period. Yeah, 92 days, which is so bad. So I've decided that from now on, I'm gonna do a test every two weeks until I get my period, just so I know what's going on because I have no idea what's going on. But nope, this is a definite no. My dream last night was that this test was positive, so it was obviously playing on my mind a bit that I was gonna be doing this today. This is the first time that I'm testing, like, not randomly. <sighs> like, the first time that I'm actually testing that the timing could be right. Maybe still a couple of days early, but around this time I'm really nervous for some reason. Okay. waiting on my test now. Wait, I just caught a glimpse. <laughs> I was literally just about to talk. Oh my god, my hand. It was in the packet and I caught a glimpse of it and I was like, wait. <sighs> this does not feel real. Oh my, oh my God. I was about to say, my periods are so irregular, it's hard to track stuff. But I had started to find like a pattern and this month it was looking different <laughs> and I think I was meant to get my period today, there's no sign. And I didn't know if I was like overthinking stuff with like some symptoms. And the last few days, I have really got it in my head that I was pregnant, but just thinking it, oh, I just did my makeup, oh my God. You know, just like thinking it as like a thought doesn't make it real. So I started to like, today I just kind of talked myself out of it, even though I've been thinking about it all the time. Even seeing the two lines, it still doesn't feel real. Oh my god. So I was kind of expecting it, but I can't, I still actually can't build. Wow, I don't know what to do. I always thought if this was to happen, I would go to the yak store and get like a, like the proper stick that says like pregnant or not. I guess I'll go and do that. I don't know what to do with myself. At the pharmacy they gave me an early test, like up to five days, which I don't think I needed. I think I'm a, maybe more like a week, a week and a half, but I just did the test. It's a lot more faint because I've drunk a lot of water, so it's not as clear as the morning, but you can still see the second line. So now I'm going to prepare something to give to my husband to tell him when he gets back from work. It's really weird talking about this in like such a matter of fact way because I feel like I've kind of thought this through in my head before of like how I would do if my test came back positive. So I feel like I'm just kind of going through the motions of that in my head. Like it hasn't, obviously it's not sunk in like that this is that like it's actually wild. 
when you think about it for real. So I'm a, I'm a lot calmer now, but still, but still, no, I'm not. I'm very, I feel very jittery and weird. Such a strange feeling. Okay, so my plan is I got this beautiful little box and I want it to be, so when he opens it, I got this canvas, which is a bit big. I think I'm gonna have to cut it, but I'm gonna write this line that he always says about a baby. I'm just gonna write it down here so who knows exactly what I mean. But I got these pens to do that with and then put the test in here too. That's my plan and to give it to him like that. I'm gonna decorate it too. I'll, maybe I'll do like some little blue and pink flowers as well. <laughs> Okay. So I ended up putting all of this at the bottom of the box just to fill it out a bit. And then I'm going to put the piece of paper in the middle with the tests like lying on it in between the words. <laughs> and put the lid on top. And now we wait. What am I going to do? Well, I'm ready. <laughs> Oh my god. We had dinner and then we went to a cafe to get a drink because there was traffic. And then I drove back because he had work. And now like he's got a big work thing going on. I feel bad for him, but oh my god, this is killing me. He has no idea. He just knows I'm giving him a gift that I worked on today for a vlog. Hopefully I can tell him soon. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, um, yes, I took a positive pregnancy test. Should it be um, eight weeks? Is that when you're meant to come in for the first appointment? Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. That's in like two weeks, that's crazy. I thought maybe I would have to go at eight weeks, but that will be six weeks. Okay. So I told my husband last night, finally, after I met him out for dinner, and then there was like peak time traveling home, so we went and got a drink, and then I drove home because he was working, and he had a, it was a lot, he had a lot of work going on, I felt bad. But I finally told him, which was so crazy, like, <laughs> to say. He was very much in shock, too. It's weird, like, no matter how much you plan something, like, it's still... The reality is very, very strange. But I felt relieved as soon as I told him just to, like... <laughs> Share it finally after the longest day. I just went and got some lunch. I got this salad with some beef in. I love this place that I get salads from. And then a juice, avocado and banana. I'm like, I want to eat as best as I can while I'm still feeling okay. I don't know when that point is going to hit or, you know, what that will be like. But I've heard that you're kind of just eating to survive and eating whatever your body will physically take. So I'm like, while I'm feeling good, let's eat the most nutritious thing I can get. Oh, it's so good. Another thing I thought I could talk about is the supplements that I've been taking. I got this new to mums. I've actually been taking this for quite a few months already. This is like a prenatal, but it's a good one without all like the fillers. So I've been taking this already, so that wasn't a change, but I did add the prenatal DHA. This is just good to have in addition. I wasn't taking this before, but I did have it ready. So I kind of was ready to go with all my supplements. And then vitamin D, I have been taking inositol inositol as well. But yeah, that's everything that I have been taking slash will continue to take from now on. workout set a couple of weeks ago it's brand new actually this is debut day i was like i need to get wearing it as much as possible before i can't anymore yeah, i do feel a bit bloated but it literally is just bloat that's going on i thought while i'm in this set i'm gonna start to do my bump transformation i want to make like a video get some pictures from like now until the end of the <laughs> pregnancy journey using all this lingo is still very strange it's still i feel like i need to buy pregnancy tests today i want to keep checking just to make sure that i am Still pregnant? <laughs> I'm just filming that. My stomach started rumbling just now and I was like, okay, no, I, I need to get some food right now. And then I was like, I think I'm gonna throw up. I think that's past now, but whoa, I just had a moment and I was like, <gasps> Is it starting? So for today's bowl, I got this one yesterday too. Today is like a potato mix, I think. Oh yeah, no, I, I need to eat right now. Oof. Okay, I'm all good. 
I've eaten, I had a quick nap. I'm about to head out on like a walk, go out and get some fresh air, but I thought while I have my juice, I could talk about the symptoms that I had prior my pregnancy test because I did have a few things that I thought were abnormal. Again, I feel like you overthink it and then you're like, is this actually, or am I just trying to make it out to be that I'm pregnant? But this is everything that I noticed. First of all, I track my basal body temperature, which fluctuates depending upon your cycle and before your period, it goes up. And then for me, when it's up, it kind of wavers in that higher section, but this time it was up, but it was very, very consistent. And then a couple of days before my period, it went up again. And then the day that I was meant to get it, it went up again. And I knew that that was not, not right. I also know that I think it's 16 or 18 days that your head temperature is high. It's almost definite pregnancy. I hadn't got to that point yet. It was only like 11, but it was definitely not as much fluctuation. I also then just didn't get my period. That was the day that I tested. But the night before I got the sweats while sleeping and I woke up like horrible. I don't know what that was about. Two nights before I got nausea while trying to sleep. I did put on like a sound bowl meditation. I even had to turn that off because I was like, that's not helping me. It's making me feel a bit more like on edge, I guess. It wasn't helping than it normally does. And I had it a little bit the next morning as well. I thought I was thirsty a lot more. And then from that needing to go to the bathroom a lot more. I'm still finding that now too. Mm. And vivid dreams. I had dreams for like four nights. I remember I felt like I wasn't sleeping properly because my dreams were just so clear. There was just crazy stuff going on. They say the dreams you have when pregnant are meant to like, you know, tell you about your baby's future. So my husband asked me, but I'm like, no, like the first one I had, I was in like a haunted house with Kris Kardashian. Like there were no meanings to it whatsoever. And they were just crazy and kind of anxiety inducing because it was situations that were a bit scary or going bad. They had no meaning. They were just weird. Another was chocolate cravings, but I thought maybe that could have been my period. I mean, I went out to the convenience store and bought chocolate bars, which I don't normally do. But I was like, no, I I, <laughs> I need the chocolate. And then one night I decided to have Hershey's chocolate cereal instead of a dinner, because that was the only thing that I wanted. And I bought some cheese strings too. So maybe I was craving dairy. I ate like four cheese strings in one day, which again, I don't normally eat. So it was a little weird. Since I've taken that test though, I haven't, I haven't had actually any chocolate, which is First, that's very strange for me now. So like we're on the opposite. I normally want something sweet after every meal. So those are all my symptoms along with a little bit of cramping. And that's everything I noticed. I know it's so, so different for everyone. I feel like with a lot of these, I was like frantically searching and you'll see people who have so many different things. I'm gonna head out on my walk. I'll catch you again later in the week. I just got home from, I guess like a casting this morning. I had to go in and do like the basic portfolio shooting where they just do like full body, half body, which definitely felt weird. And I haven't told any of my agencies yet. Obviously you have to wear like tight clothing for it. So I was like, as long as I can fit in my pants or, you know, up to three months, I will tell them at that point. But at this point, it's just my little secret. It feels very, very strange. I did buy a couple of things when I was out too. I will show you them in a minute, but I'm so hungry right now. I can't talk more. I picked up some kimbap on the way home because I need to some food right now and I'm gonna cook some eggs and that will be my little lunch. Mm. I um, have been going through all my skincare and makeup products to make sure that everything is pregnancy safe, which is not an easy task, let me tell you. I found this really helpful website though called 15minutebeauty.com. She has a whole section of pregnancy and in the skincare, she actually has a lot of Korean brands, which is very helpful because the majority of my stuff is Korean. I like to think that I'm quite good about safe skincare anyway. Like a lot of my stuff is okay. Some of it I had to get rid of because of retinol, which you can't use. I can keep using this Abib toner. And then for Essence, I use the brand Mixin. Their website says you can continue using the essences at least because they are just one ingredient. There's nothing else in them. They're so pure, which is why I love this brand. I have their Bean Essence and then their three layering essence. These are so nice. So I'm so happy I can continue using these. Cleanser wise, that has been really hard. They all have this one ingredient that you can't have. But I had a recommendation of this Sada Fill. Gentle skin cleanser. This is meant to be okay. I'm gonna switch to this one. And I guess the step before this is my cleansing balm. I use the vanilla, which is also safe according to what I've seen. The only other thing I need to get is a sun cream and I can't find anything. Any sort of mineral sunscreen that doesn't have this certain ingredient that all of them have. So that I haven't been able to solve yet. And then for makeup, my foundation is a Korean brand. So I was like, I'm just gonna go with a Western brand that, that was recommended. So I just went for Maybelline that she had on the list. So the Maybelline Fit Me. This will be my foundation from now on and then their concealer. I use this at Disney 
too so I know that this is a nice one. It's definitely very overwhelming that is for sure. I was also hoping to go to dance class tonight but I think I'm not going to. Looking online it says yes and some say no like oh and also I feel like going to the class or not is giving me stress because I don't know what to do so I'm like just don't go because I shouldn't be stressing as well I'm trying to manage my stress levels. Anyway it's been a long morning <laughs> I'm gonna go and take a nap for a bit I feel like that's what I need. It has now been a full week since I took my positive pregnancy test. Such a long week, but still one more to go until I go to the doctors. I took another test this morning. I haven't been doing too many, just a couple. I know some people do loads and loads and compare the lines, like how dark they get. This is the one I took this morning. You can see that the positive line is actually darker than the control line, which is a really good sign because this is tracking the HGC. Hang on, the HCJ. H C G. Yeah. <laughs> so you do want it to get darker because you want to be making more of the hormones. So that is a good sign. I don't want to do it too much though because I know I can get a bit obsessive with things like that. So I'm just trying not to overthink anything. But I'm happy with that test this morning. I'm still very, very tired. I feel like I'm getting more tired as the days go on. I haven't experienced too much sickness though. Just nausea, it comes in waves very like for short amount of times and not very often. So I'm trying to prepare for that right now while I can. Look how cute these are. This is one of the remedies that I'm preparing. I've got this whole thing of minced ginger. I read that you can have like a teaspoon a day. So I put them all into little teaspoon bites <laughs> and froze them. And then I'm gonna put them into my tea when I'm not feeling great. Another thing is I'm gonna buy some magnesium. That's meant to help for the sickness. I already have some peppermint oil. I've heard that smelling that is meant to be nice. So I have that ready too. And what's last? Oh, pomegranate apparently helps. I'm not like a huge fan of eating it. So I think maybe I'll order some juice. I mean, who knows truly. I just heard that the morning part in morning sickness is not true. And it's like an all day thing. I there's no harm in preparing all these things. Here they are, my little ginger bites to put into my tea. I've got a lot of work coming up next month. So I think it's gonna be a bit of a struggle. So just trying to prepare while I'm okay. I just got home from my morning out and I feel like I'm already ready for my afternoon nap which has been non-negotiable these days. Every day without a doubt I need to take a nap. I don't feel like I'm sleepy, I feel like I'm actually exhausted. Like even when I was just walking to my destination, I was halfway there, I stopped at a traffic light and I started zoning out and I was like I could pass out right now. The tiredness is another level. It's kind of nice in another way though because I feel like I want to have some sort of symptom. I don't really have too much else going on right now so except my jeans are never buttoned up. I'm definitely not like showing, I'm just so bloated. These jeans are too big for me. I normally do them up on the second loop, but yeah, just the bloat. Another level. I just got some things delivered that I wanna show you though. I just got a whole load of these snacks. I did a taste test the other day before committing and buying a load. These are the Organica brand. They're tofu quinoa crackers. I know that these are palm oil free as well, as far as I can see, which is really good. But I just saw that for morning sickness, you wanna have a plain cracker next to your bed so that you can just eat one before getting up in the morning. That's apparently meant to help. So I got a whole load of these if needed. And another thing was liquid IV. Again, I'm just preparing for morning sickness in case I can't keep much down. Some people have like an intolerance to water, but just in case this is the tangerine flavor. To make it taste a bit different, just to get more good stuff in me. I do like these anyway for traveling. I think it's really nice to have these on flights. But yeah, this is what just came through the mail. I feel like that's it for my morning sickness preparation. I don't think there's much else more I can do until the time comes. I cannot believe now it has been a full two weeks. I feel like it's gone pretty slow if I'm honest. I did one last test the other day, like super strong line. And then I have the test tomorrow. It's still early, like a six week scan, but I'm so glad I don't think I could wait any longer. My nausea has been cranking up for sure. And I've been craving like home foods, like Western foods way more than Korean foods. <laughs> Beige foods, very plain. Cheesy, buttery pasta, chips, cheese strings, bagels, plain ramen noodles. That's what's kind of been getting me. We did go for a nice seaweed soup yesterday with some fish. I dealt with that fine. It was actually really, really nice. So that was nice to have something quite nutritious. But yeah, the nausea has definitely been hitting me. I'm getting triggered by like meat, smells 
<laughs> if I sit on my hunger, like as soon as I feel any sign of hunger, I need to eat straight away. Otherwise it strikes and I am hungry like constantly. I'm eating a lot of food. I feel like before I was kind of like, I want some symptoms. So I feel like something's going on, but I take it back. I, I don't need the symptoms. It's fine. I know that there's something there. But yeah, the days are definitely a bit more of a struggle. I'm exhausted. I'm so hungry all the time. Like it's so much easier to stay at home. And luckily I have been quite quiet with work. That builds up again at the end of this week and this month. I've got a lot going on. So hopefully I can manage it well, but it's been nice to have some downtime and kind of just deal with this and get to figure out what's going on with my body. So that's kind of where I'm at and just looking forward to tomorrow when we head to the hospital. Thank you.